Welcome everybody to the session about the architecture strategy of SAP S4HANA. Let me give you an insight how we envision our future SAP S4HANA and also our cloud strategy to make it more modern, modular and flexible. But let me first revise the SAP product strategy. The SAP product strategy is built around six main pillars. At the bottom, we have the business technology platform. The BTP is the integration layer, the development layer, and the glue that holds all the components together. It provides a common process model, like the um, one de domain model. It provides common APIs and an integration layer, but also business services like a digital assistant, AI and machine learning, or data warehouse. On top, we have the intelligent suite combining SAP S4HANA, our core digital ERP, but also our cloud solutions like SuccessFactors, Ariba, and Conquer. With the intelligent suite, you can span the whole supply chain and the whole ERP processes of your company. Next to the right, we have the industry cloud. What is the industry cloud? It is our way to build edge solutions dedicated on the business technology platform to extend the classical reach and portfolio of the intelligent suite. Here together, SAP with partners built dedicated microservice-based applications cloud native on the business technology platform. The Intelligent Suite and the Industry Cloud is framed by sustainability management, our new solutions, also dedicatedly directly built cloud native on the business technology platform and the experience management. And then we have the new kids on the block, which is our business process intelligent, providing insights, analysis, and ways to standardize and configure your ERP. Let's have a shorter look in the industry cloud. It's our new program where together SAP uh, with a lot of partners built industry functionality and industry edge solutions um, in retail, um, in the digital supply chain, demand network, in automotive. It complements the intelligent suite and it interoperates vertically native cloud solutions with SAP S4HANA. We use the business technology platform, as I said, as a glue. Um, the BTP provides the common process model across logistics, finance, and the industry cloud apps. Um, it provides reusable business services and integrates via the open API hub of um, SAP. But how does all the things work together? Nowadays, the future is a hybrid cloud. We have customers that run certain business processes on premise, other customers and, and certain business processes in the cloud, other customers are completely in the cloud. We see that the intelligent enterprises are integrated enterprises. Let's, for example, take the lead to cash end-to-end -end process in customer experience. It is combined out of components from CX, S4HANA, SAP Analytics Cloud, for example. The same with the total workforce management and the whole people engagement. It combines S4HANA Finance, Conquer, Field Glass for contingent workforce, success factors, and also SAP Analytics Cloud providing end-to-end -end dashboard. How do these components seamlessly work together so that the end user feels it is one product? The business technology platform exposes the so-called suite qualities. Some call them kernel services. What are these? First of all, a seamless user experience via Fiori. In future, we develop um, a new dashboard for Fiori, a new central entry point, and we expand the Fiori launchpad as the de facto single point of entry for all the components. But also a mobile start page is being developed. The next point is the One Workflow Inbox. With the One Workflow Inbox, a dedicated Fiori application, we provide a single shop entry towards all our end users for workflow and tasks across all solutions. You can see all the tasks from finance, for example, um, vacation requests, um, purchase requests, or as a manager, uh, um, success factor request. The next point is also the end-to-end -end blueprint models for end-to-end -end processes. 
we define currently a centralized reference architecture for the common ERP, but also for dedicated industry solutions like automotive, retail, and manufacturing. And these reference architectures expose the business capabilities and maps it to solutions. So we have business capabilities and a business solution model. So in the end, we provide customers the opportunity to select the reference architecture, select the processes they want to run in the cloud, for example, or in SAP S4HANA, and then we map it towards the solutions that need to be integrated. Two other examples, one domain model and master data integration, two components that are also exposed by the business technology platform as a kernel services, very important for integration to ensure that all the various components like Ariba and uh, S4HANA speak the same language in terms of master data and domains. And last but not least, we provide with the ZAP Analytics Cloud an embedded and cross-product analytics, also in terms of financial and operational planning. But where is our future heading? Currently, we come from a monolithic ERP, the R3 world. Today, we are in a postmodern ERP, according to Gartner, where we have a monolithic S4HANA solution, highly integrated, optimized for the HANA database, and then we connect cloud solutions towards it. But the future is a composable suite, a modular suite that can be flexibly put together in order to allow customers to choose best of breed capabilities, but yet have end-to-end -end processes uh, for a single solution. This gives customers the possibility face by face move into the cloud, whereas keeping the installed base and the on-premise system for a certain amount in time. Because in the end, there will be always a public cloud ERP in future, but the transition is not direct. It is seamless. It is a way, it is a path, and this is what we enable customers, especially also with RISE with SAP. The future is really that, especially in the cloud, we want to enable customers to rather choose an end-to-end -end product and an end-to-end -end service rather than dedicated products. So a customer should be available or should have the possibility to select a plan to fulfill or a source to pay or recruit to retire process. Select this, um, buy for this end-to-end -end process, um, in the cloud on a subscription basis. And we at SAP, we bundle these solutions together to an end-to-end -end solution model. So in the end, then we combine S4HANA with Conquer, with FieldGlass and SuccessFactors, ZAP Analytics Cloud, the kernel and suite qualities from the business technology platform, providing integration, extensions, etc., and machine learning and artificial intelligence to an end-to-end -end intelligence solution. We take care for the lifecycle management, for the operations, for the upgrade, and provide the customers, why this or the end user rather, an end-to-end -end business process scope, rather multiple configurable services. Of course, this is our vision, especially towards the public cloud solution. Um, if you are rather an on-premise customer or move to a private cloud, you still have the opportunity with Rise with SAP um, to configure your product as you wish. But also in Rise with SAP, we offer this modular cloud ERP, which is exactly um, the first step into this vision of a business process as a service. What are we technically doing in order to evolve SAP S4HANA to a modernized and modularized architecture? Not that S4HANA is not good as of now. It is, definitely. But as said, we want to provide customers a more flexible way for consumption. So we have on the left side the well-known ABAP stack of SAP S4HANA. It is already now, to a large extent, modernized. Most of the business processes run dedicatedly on HANA. We have done a lot of code pushdown where business logic has been ported down to the database because HANA, with its optimizer, is faster in evaluating and also in joining tables virtually on the fly than the business logic in ABAP. We replace Fiori UIs, uh, GUIs with Fiori UIs. 
we provide embedded analytics and also side-by-side -side analytics via the SAP Analytics Cloud Platform. This is about modernization. We continue this heavily in all kinds of aspects and uh, provide uh, monthly shipments in the cloud and yearly shipments for on-premise or in the private cloud. But we also modularize the ABAP stack. We think about what are the dedicated components that should be bundled together to provide an end-to-end -end solution. We recently launched the Digital Supply Chain Edition, DSC Edition, combining enterprise warehouse management, transportation management, certain planning functionalities like production planning and detailed scheduling into one single component. We have also the DMC, the Digital Manufacturing Network, a bundle and a set of cloud-native BTP apps that connects you in the logistics towards the business networks in the outside world. So on the left side, as said, we modernize and also modularize the ABAP stack. What are we doing on the business technology platform? Here on the right side, we build all new capabilities, new features, new functions, dedicatedly cloud native on the business technology platform. One example is the sustainability management. We started last year, and as of 2108, we just released our first version of the new sustainability management solution. Please excuse me that I don't know the exact name, but I think you can Google it. Um, and the, this gives customers the flexibility to extend via the modular cloud on the business technology platform, extend a certain core business process with dedicated functionality. I give you some other examples. We have launched subscription billing or a new centralized distributed order management in the cloud uh, as a dedicated BTP app or excisive tax. We have ported the classical MDG master data governance solution on um, the sub BTP ABAP environment, which also runs on the, on the business technology platform. So new capabilities are built cloud native. And by this, the S4 HANA stack will become more and more modular. If you have currently a look at the solution scope, so the whole end-to-end -end business processes solution scope of the, bis, uh, of the SAP S4 HANA product, roughly 50% is on the left side and roughly 50 or 47% is on the non-ABAP BTP cloud native side. And this figure and ratio will increase over the time. Yet, we provide also intelligent technologies across the stack. And these intelligent uh, solutions are also sometimes, mostly, dedicated business technology apps, but sometimes they are also machine learning and predictive analytics directly natively embedded in S4HANA. The last point, which is very, very important uh, and dear to my heart, is extensibility. The SAP, and uh, since, since years, or for quite some years, SAP is promoting the mantra of keep the core clean. So transforming extensions and modifications rather side by side to the business technology platform and preventing or modifying the S4HANA core. Why is that good? Especially when you move into the cloud. It's all about lower the TCO, the total cost of operations, of ownership, etc. If you have in the private cloud a partner doing the basis upgrade, doing the S4HANA upgrade, um, and also the database upgrade, you want to be with your solution close to the standard. Because otherwise, the partner has to deal with a lot of... Um, error messages coming up from SPAO and SPDD, uh, uh, or you need to adapt your extensions. So the more you stick to the core and to the standard, the easier the cloud upgrades are. This is very important for SAP, especially in the public cloud, but also in a private cloud environment when, you, when it's your S4HANA system and you let it operate by a partner or you do it by yourself. So what have we done? On the business technology platform, there is the ABAP environment, the new ABAP development environment, codename Steampunk.
It is available there for last two years, roughly, since 2019. It provides you the possibility to develop ABAP code on the BTP next to Node.js and Java in a true cloud environment with a CI-CD, continuous integration, continuous development DevOps model. And we have taken this BTP ABAP environment, Steampunk, and now integrated to S4HANA Cloud. And now it's called Embedded Steampunk or S4HANA Cloud ABAP environment. So this Embedded Steampunk gives you inside S4HANA the possibility to do in-app extensions in ABAP um, in your well-known development environment, but only code against public APIs. This ensures that all the developments you are doing are cloud safe, upgrade stable. The only prerequisite is only use the public APIs. And we have massively extended the numbers of APIs. We have bodies, BAPIs, CDS views, OData services, extension points uh, they made available in Embedded Steampunk inside S4HANA to give partners, but also customers, the possibility to transform their custom code in this new environment. We launched this year um, a pilot phase with 12, customer, uh, with 12 partners. They took their ABAP add-ons and ABAP extensions and ported it to Embedded Steampunk. The feedback was splendid and very positive. They liked the flexibility. They liked this open source module. Um, the development environment is ABAP in Eclipse with refactoring possibilities and direct connection to the open SAP RP Hub. So this is really um, the future. And when you move to SAP S4HANA, and also a big call to all the partners out there doing customer S4HANA customer implementations, Rethink your custom code, get rid of modifications, transform your um, customizations and extensions, if possible, side by side to the business technology platform. If they have to reside close to SAP S4HANA, for example, if you want to extend the financial accounting process, do it in S4HANA in-app against public APIs using the S4HANA cloud ABAP environment. First in S4HANA public cloud, um, as of 2108, this August, next year, then also hopefully for on-premise customers. So stay tuned. Yeah, let me summarize. Um, SAP S4HANA, um, in all kinds of deployment versions, whether it is any premise, whether it is in the private cloud, whether it is truly highly standardized in the public cloud, it has benefits for all kinds of customers. Currently, we have roughly about more than 17,000 S4HANA customers. Out of them, more than 10,000 customers are live on SAP S4HANA in the various versions. Um, the numbers of public cloud customers are growing, um, especially we recently um, set live um, two major consulting, big consulting companies and consulting firms. Um, benefits are various. Um, you have faster order lead times. You can realize reduction in your billing and financial processes. You have massive improvements in the material requirements planning and production, especially with the demand-driven MRP, and especially more data occurrency in cost and revenue uh, because of the real-time insights that SAP S4HANA provides you. So thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the sessions. I hope you took some uh, information and uh, stay tuned for the next update on the S4HANA strategy. Thank you very much.